Good evening. Let's uh, graph some more sine um, equations, starting with y equals 3 sine 2, x minus pi over 4 plus 1. And let's start by analyzing this equation with the amplitude. And the amplitude is equal to 3. B, this number here is equal to 2. That's going to give us the period. Um, the horizontal shift or phase shift is pi over 4 and the vertical displacement is equal to 1. Displacement in equal to 1 just means that basically the graph, the, the vertical center of the graph is going to be at y equals 1, right there. Normally it's at the x-axis, of course. So, okay, amplitude is 3, that means that the graph will rise all the way, that the maximum would be 4, and the minimum will be negative 2, because 1 minus 3, 2, negative 2, and 1 plus 3, 4. Okay, so now we, we have an idea that the graph of sine will look like this. Now, what about the period? The period will be given by b. Normally, the period is 2 pi, but every time that we have a b different than 1, the period is going to be equal to 2 pi over the absolute value of the period, of b, sorry, I said the period, but it's b. Uh, so the period is going to be 2 pi over 2. So that's just going to be equal to pi in this case. So, okay, I'm going to make each tick basically um, just pi over 8, so I have more room to make a nice graph here. And the phase shift of pi over 4 just pushes the graph from here. It would start normally right at the vertical center, since it's sine, but it's going to be pushed over to the right by pi over 4. So let's say that that's pi over 4, right here. And we want the period to be pi. Therefore, I'm going to go from here to where? Well. This is going to be pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, pi, 5 pi over 4 will be a full period. Because we're going by pi over 8, remember? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ticks will represent a full pi. So 5 pi over 4. Great. So sine starts right here at the center. I'm going to pick an outrageous color today just because I feel like it. Um, and I like to split up the sine function, the whole period of the fu sine function, into four equal parts. So since we're going to go from here oops, to here, I can just split it in half, set up the period in half, then split up, split up each half into quarters. So what will happen is that sine will start right here in the middle, then it will, after a quarter period, it will rise up to the maximum which is right here, remember, because of the amplitude amplitude of 3. I'm going to erase that, though. Um, then from the top, quarter period over, it comes back down to the middle. Quarter period over, it's going to go all the way down to the bottom. And at a full period, it will rise to the middle again. So this is what a full period of this graph will look like. Great. I like this color, actually. Hopefully you'll like it, too. Of course, the, uh, the graph will continue this way forever and that way forever, but I'm just interested in graphing it, graphing a full period of it right now. Hopefully that makes great sense, and uh, at this website down here, you can see very similar questions that you can practice before, see if you get the right answer, and um, become pretty good at trig. So hopefully you have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching.